Right, so this is just some uh, invertebrate zoology revision because I've got a test coming up and this is mainly just for my revision but if anybody else is studying um, yeah, invertebrate zoology or biology then feel free to have a look, it might help you a little bit, I hope it helps me. Right, so it's just some orders and just some stuff about them to help you identify. So, right, Calembola springtails. Um, they are not insects. They have um, entognathous mouth plants, which means I've been making notes um, that they are attracted within the head. Okay. Um, they also have a furcular, which is just the tail-like appendage found is found ventrally on the um, fourth abdominal segment, and it's what helps springtails to move. So they sort of flick it like that, and they they jump. That's why they're called springtails. Um, right. So their food is fungal hyphae and dead plants. Right, Archaeognatha and Zygentoma, or Thysanura, Thysanura, okay. Right, they're bristletails and silverfish. Um, they're hemimetabolous, which means that the um, juvenile form looks pretty much the same as the adult um, imago. Um, yeah, uh, they, oh, there's going to be ferrets. Yeah, there's a ferret coming out. Right, um... Yes, so that pretty much means that yeah, the juvenile form looks pretty much the same as the adult, but they'll they won't have any wings, obviously. Um, right, so yes, they um, so bristletails and silverfish are wingless, anyway, and they have a terminal filament, um, which is like a um, I'll just make a note of it. Uh, Anyway, oh yeah, it's an elongate medial sensory appendage, so it's like the middle, when they have sort of circe, which like just the tail-like bits, um, it's sort of a, usually a longer middle one, but apparently in these they can be quite short. Right, um, Ephemeroptera, Ephemeroptera, go on, I've pronounce that, that's mayflies, right, they're hemimetabolous as well. They have uh, aquatic nymphs, and their food is algae, fungi, and some are predatory. Um, they have three tails, comprised of two cerci and one terminal filament, like what I was just talking about. And the adults are short-lived and they don't feed. And they have a winged sub um, So they, it'll have, be like a sub-adult um, phase, but... So it has wings, but it probably the wings won't be fully developed. Um, it's just like an in-between stage. Right, Odonata. Um, so out of them that you have Zygoptera, which are the damselflies, and Anisoptera, which are dragonflies. And the adults are long-lived. Um, they are predatory. They have an aquatic nymph. And they have an extensible labium, which is... Um, make another note of that. So it's the most po uh, posterior hexapod mouth part, the labium. Um, uh, mouth part appendage anyway and extensible just means that it can move it sort of um, it reaches out like alien basically so it helps to grab the prey right plecoptera uh, stoneflies they're hemimetabolous they have uh, two tailed circe circe always come in pairs anyway um, they have aquatic nymphs um, which are all, the, I've got all the types of vores, so there'll be carnivores, herbivores, detritivores, omnivores. Um, adults eat plants or don't eat. Um, they have two pairs of wings which are held along the body and wrapping, um, it also says, and they have fresh water indicators. Right, isoptera, termites, they are hemimetabolous, um, eusocial, so obviously, yeah, they have that eusocial. I need to, I'll, I'll talk about that more some other time. They're you social anyway, like bees and some wasps. Um, they have nu nuptial flights, so they all come out at once. Um, um, yeah, and like sort of find a mate and then the, fem the um, female or new queen will go off and find a new um, place to start a new colony. Right, they have gut protozoa that allows uh, cellulose digestion. No. Right, flatter deer, cockroaches, they are also hemimetabolous. They have um, four wings um, called tegmina. Um, I have a note about that, uh, which are just, are just leathery front wings. Um, loads of different orders have them. Uh, Mantidia, 
Oh, uh, back to Breath of Deer. Um, they're mostly saprophagus, which means they feed on like decaying material. Um, Cryptocircus. Oh, that was just a underlined that for some reason. All right. Um, Cryptocircus are cockroaches with the characteristic of termites. They now think that termites might actually be in the order of Latidia instead of being Isoptera. Um, and they have an Uthica, which is like an egg mass or an egg sac, um, which brings me on to the Mantids. So Mantidia, they're hemimetabolous. Um, they also have um, tegmina, so the leathery wing casing, or leathery fore wings. Um, they have raptor raptorial forelegs, something like that that grabs their prey. Um, and they also have an Uthica um, egg sac. Right, Phasmatidea, stick insects, um, stick insects, leaf insects. They're also hemimetabolous, they're cryptic, so they um, are camouflaged. So they, they have a body form that looks like usually what they're living on. Um, they're apterous, so they have no wings, but obviously there are some that have wing buds because I've owned them. Um, they have seed-like eggs. Orthoptera, right, so out of these two there is Encifera, which are the crickets and katydids, and Califera, which are the cro uh, I think said crocodiles there, <laughs> grasshoppers and locusts, they also have the tegmina, um, Califera are day active herbivores, and Encifera are herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, and a lot of them come out at night. Right, Dermaptera, earwigs, they are hemimetabolous, um, they have modified cerci, so they're Sorry, I've got a ferret climbing up my leg. Um, so they have this little pincery cersei. Buttons. Um, they also have tegmina as well. They're omnivorous and they um, have subsocial brood care. Um, I'm trying to open up a page about that. Yeah, I've got a bit of a, a article I've just found on that. But basically, um, female earwigs. Um, guard their eggs, that's as much as I know about that. Alright, so Thysanoptera, Thrips, I didn't even know about these before this lecture. Um, they're also hemimetabolous, they have piercing sucking mouth parts, and they are fungivores and herbivores, and they feed on single cells, so they must be very, very little. Alright, Hemiptera, Bugs. Heteroptera, I'm just going to look that up. says true bugs and it's got a picture of a pond skater um, and it's got Coleorinca I'm, I'm going to look that up as well because I don't, haven't given a example but I'm fairly sure that's shield bugs Coleorinca it doesn't really say I'm fairly sure because Coleo means shield so I'm fairly sure they are the shield bugs right Cicada morpha, cicadas leaf hoppers, fulgoromorpha, fulgoromorpha, uh, plant hoppers, sternorinca, aphids and scale insects, and loads of others, but I didn't write them down. They're all hemimetabolous, and they have a rostrum, which is... Um, oh, buttons, get off my leg, please. Yeah, it's a modified labium to form a beak, so, yeah, piercing mouth parts, anyway, it's been modified. Uh, uh, right. Um, mm. Neuroptera, lace wings. They're holometabolous now, so the juvenile form is completely different to the adult forms. They have a proper grub like larvae. Um, I did write something down for that as well. Complete metamorphosis, so they have four life stages. So that would be like larvae, pupa, and then the adult imago, and probably egg before that. Um, it says larvae are active predators, adults are predators or they feed on nectar and pollen. Right, Megaloptera, order flies, they are holometabolous as well. Uh, larv are, larvae are aquatic predators or scavengers, um, and they are also freshwater indicators. Buttons, it's been a little cow. Um, Alright, Coleoptera, beetles, um, they are holometabolous as well, obviously, they have wings. I don't write down that. Um, they're decomposers. That's, that's clearly not enough to talk about beetles because, like, they're pretty much every single species. Um, right, diptera, flies. 
Then while I'm a tabulist, I have halters and I wrote a note about them, which are modified hind wings. They're like vibrating structure gyroscopes, so they're for like stabilization in flight. That's why hoverflies can just be, stay so still. Now, obviously, important disease vectors. Right. Trichoptera, caddis flies. They are holometabolous. Um, they have wings with hairs. I don't even know what one looks like. Maybe I do. Um, they have aquatic larvae and diverse feeding habits. I'll have to look them up more. Right, Lep Lepidoptera, butterflies. They have a, uh, most of them have a coral proboscis. Um, larvae are caterpillars, so they're euceriform. Um, they have segmentic thoracic legs and abdominal prolegs, so not proper legs. Um, the, diff the way you can tell the difference between butterflies and moths is the position they hold their wings in and their antennal structure. Um, yes, right, Hymenoptera. Bees, wasps, ants, they are all holometabolous. They have an ovipositor and a sting. Right, so there's Symphyta, sawflies and wood wasps, and Apocrita, bees, ants and wasps. Right, Symphyta have three thorax segments. Um, they have euceriform larvae, so it's like a caterpillar. It's not actually a caterpillar though. And Apocrita have um, first abdominal segment joins thoracic segments, um, mesosoma, um, wasp waist with metasoma and gaster. Um, I'm fairly sure that all of them have a gaster. Anyway, uh, the larvae are legless, so. Um, apodus and they also show hap <laughs> I kept trying to say so haplodiploidy <laughs> right so to go through some of the things I made notes on entognathus mouth parts retracted within head vercular tail like appendage found ventrally on fourth abdominal segment hemimetabolus nymph resembles adult imago adult insect circe paired appendages Terminal filament, elongate medial sensory appendage. Extensible labium, well, I've just, I think I've just written down something for labium. Uh, most, poria, uh, what? most posterior hexapod mouth part appendage. And obviously, extensible means it goes like that. Um, tegmina, leathery front wing. Saprophagus, feed on decaying matter. Cryptocircus, as cockroaches with the characteristics of termites. Uthaga, egg mass, egg sac. Cryptic, Camouflage. Apterus, no wings. Rostrum, modified labium to form beak. Holometabolus, complete metamorphosis, four life stages. Halters, modified hind wings, vibrating structure, gyroscopes. Uh, mesosoma, middle part of body of arthropods, bears, legs, and wings. Metasoma, posterior part of body, contains digestion, respiration, and then circe, uh, the appendages that come off of that. Gaster, bulbous posterior part of metasoma found in Apocrita. So yeah, there should be bees, ants, and wasps. Haplodiploidy, uh, males developed from unfertilized eggs are haploids. That doesn't really make sense, but yeah. Okay, right, well that's my revision um, part one. Right, I hope you liked it. Bye.